What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today, what you guys have all been asking for, the update for the aquarium in a jar. If you're brand new to the community here at the Coral Reef Talk, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified every time I make a new video, go ahead and check that bell icon. That's right, today I'm going to share an update with the aquarium in a jar. I know it's been a really long time since the last video, but there's finally something in the jar now. There's a few corals, so let's take a look. As you can see the aquarium in a jar is coming along nicely. So what do I have inside? Well I have a frog spawn coral with about three heads on it, a hammer coral that has three to four heads on it as well, a Kenya tree coral, a couple mushrooms, and a few zoanthid polyps hanging out in there on the bottom of the tank. Now I also have a small cleanup crew for this small aquarium. I have a zebra snail and a peppermint shrimp. Now when I first set this aquarium up within the few weeks of setting it up the room that it's in receives a lot of daylight from a really large window so algae started to cover the glass. I added the zebra snail and the zebra snail took care of it right away. Now if you're just joining us and this is the first episode of the coral reef talk that you've stumbled upon, welcome. This is the aquarium in a jar. It's a two gallon mason jar dispenser that you can pick up at Walmart. That's where I bought this one and it's around $14, $15. So what I decided to do is to make a custom overflow for this aquarium using PVC pipe and I attached it to the dispenser so that way water changes were a little bit easier for this size of a tank. Flip the switch, water will drain out and I can refill in the top so it keeps it a little bit easy because with this size tank you need to be doing water changes more frequently to keep that stability that we're used to with our larger tanks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this aquarium. Be sure to watch till the end because the coral of the week is coming up. Okay, so that'll do it for the aquarium in a jar update video for now. There's going to be a lot more updates to come. I'll post photos over at twitter.com and on Instagram at Coral Reef Talk. So be sure to follow me over there. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Leave me a like, comment down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.